Howdy folks and welcome back to Timborn. So last time we managed to get the explosives factory thing up and running and we did actually manage to start pumping out some explosives. We've got, holy smokes, we've got 361. And uh, the only thing there is, I haven't actually unlocked it, which is kind of weird. So you can start producing them, but you can't unlock them until you unlock them. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to unlock them. And what I'm thinking of doing is we're going to bring them up here just to sort of level out the water around here so that everything is in some sort of same sort of level as the rest of the land around. It, which obviously means we're going to have to transport a fair few explosives around everywhere. But we're just trying to free up a little bit of space, bring everything down to the same level and see where that leads us. Because I'm just thinking that hopefully it will let us hold some water. Speaking of, actually, I want to bring all this down because I would like A, to see how much water we can fit in here. And B, I just want to bring some in here so that we can actually get some water pumps in here. Because this place, this place doesn't like to hold its water for some reason i have no idea why but they seem to drink it and go through it like crazy so that's all that we can do there we are going to need to add a root char here and put an explosive in here likewise we're also going to have to add a new route to these guys and put some explosives over here so that these two can then go and place explosives down because i'd like to pretty much explosify all of this like all of this all of this so it's all the same level so out of those 300 and something explosives that we currently have i don't know how many we're gonna have left at the end of it it can't be too many crikey but yeah <laughs> so that's gonna be a lot of explosion and we'll leave that and we'll check back on that as and when to see actually where they get to not entirely sure how or what is going to be built first oh these ones that's nice best thing about timberborn is the height so you don't actually have a height restriction. These guys can go above, like these three over here, these guys. They can start going above, and the more we explode this, they can keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. But first set is done. Let's go have a look, see what we could have won. Yay, nice and simple. Nothing too crazy, nothing too stressful. Now, over here, we are sort of getting on with this weird little power idea that I had. So the idea is we've got a floodgate here. We open this floodgate and it will send water down here. It's kept nice and tight to bounce around, bounce around. And it should go through all of these power wheels and then abroad it to come back on itself on a return journey to do the same thing. So we'll have another set of power wheels in this side so that then they can like double up the power, hopefully. And then I'm going to get on to making metal in to metal blocks or whatever it is around here because that's one thing that's taken up all of our storage all of the storage over here is taken up by scrap metal which we need to get rid of also while i'm here bring down this land just so that we've got more of a pool at the same sort of height just so that we can get more water in here that'll do us might as well demolish that while we're there oh yeah and this side here bring all this down bring all this down nice okay have yourself a very explosive Christmas. Hey, these are all done. We can detonate these. Detonate these. Yeah, there you go. So there's sort of a bit more water here now. So this, we finally got this finished. So this is all dammed up and this is all dammed up, which means that we can go all the way around our little island. Apart from here, but this is just kind of to help me out a little bit. But yeah, it's finished. Does it work? Not completely, due to the fact that this kind of is pointless now. This set of gates here and all the water is escaping down here. Managed to put a little bit of a line in here, but the district is closed. So this district doesn't reach all the way to the end here, unfortunately. Which means doing another district, which is good for us because we've got metal over here. So if we needed metal, we have access to it. But also this gigantic thing, it's like a huge huge pool that we could potentially store water in and run off a thousand little viaducts or this kind of thing from but we'll see what happens with that i'm undecided there yet but for now water is good uh, it doesn't quite hold everything in like we want it to if i took it down a level we might be in a little bit of danger but it's okay we've got the gates we can open the gates and let the water come surging through and it'll top us up nicely it's nothing too crazy be nice to be able to automate the gates do keep saying that because it's something that i really like so that i could set this set of gates up and this set of gates up all at the same time so i could just open one and have them both open but it is what it is we'll live we'll open them all the way down let the water come rushing through then it will start to fill everywhere up just as we need it to do and also we've got it over here so we've got a little bit of damn pieces so that they'll leak out of here when it gets too high at least that's the hope 
Ah, uh, you see, this is something I got on monitor as well. Here is something we are going to do today. I want to put a couple of dam pieces in here. I want to build a levee in here. Awesome. It's going to mean that we can get rid of this gate, hopefully. Now, what we want to unlock is this bad boy. It's a mechanical water pump. It costs so much and we want to put this up here if we can is that going to screw anything up maybe so we want to put this mechanical water pump up here now i hope that this will work but i'm not convinced because it takes a lot of power which then means we've got to get some shafts to it so that we can actually power it and it is going to take a lot First things first, we want to make this into a T piece. We'll make that high priority. And then what we want, then we're going to need to come up. So in order to come up, we're going to be somewhere here, maybe. So up here, up here. Lovely. So then we're going to be 90 out of there into there. Bosh. Right. Prioritize this. I want this damn piece to be done first. Then I want this piece Then this piece. Oh, I need treated planks for it. Ah. Treated planks, treated planks. So treated planks, we need to unlock here. That's 800 science. So these treated planks are going to be very important for us. I didn't realize that. Now the recipe for treated planks is planks and pine sap. Now we should have plenty of pine sap because we're over here. Yeah, pine resin. This guy's going busy, which should be fine, which means this guy should eventually start getting up there. So once we've got this going and he's out here doing something useful for us, then he'll be able to build this. Now this is going to be helpful for me for stay stabilizing all this little area here so the hope is that it'll pump from this big pool here into this little area here but it'll obviously fill this up to a point where the dam is hopefully going to be enough to stop all the water and then obviously any excess that spills will spill out into this area keeping the farm nicely watered without me needing to worry about these floodgates that i keep forgetting about this takes a lot of power it takes seven horsepower and our current production is not 700 at all so we might have to get a little bit crazy with the old wind get some wind turbines going on here plenty of room to go put a lot of wind so that'll be fun for us doing pretty well getting to the outside of stuff can i build a path because i do need to bring some steps down here just so that i can actually get to all of these explosives down here because otherwise we're gonna have a big old piece of land with no explosives how are we looking for explosives? We've got 48. Let's prioritize this set. Can't build over the top explosives. Damn. So we'll nuke that one. And we'll do that. And hope they'll be able to do that. Okay. Does this have planks? It does have planks. That's cool. So if we take this down a half. So the water comes down here. Bounces around the corners. And gives us a little bit of push on the old water mills. I mean, it's not a lot. It's a little over 300 as it is, but it's the best that we could do right now. And then, like I say, we're going to power wheel all in here. We are going to have to fill up the bottom of this with levees. I forgot about that much. Just to keep everything the same height. For now, though, we can keep that closed because it's not, not got a point, not got a use yet. It's not finished yet. We're working on that. So now that we have a drought to come in, we can start to close up the gate these guys can go up these guys are up but this is what i'm saying so it's now just comes over the dam pieces the little dam pieces that we had next to the gates and just there just to keep us in a position where we're not going to end up in a bad way with the water behind us but it gives enough seepage to let it all through so we can shut all these up as well and these have still got dam pieces behind them as well so that we do get the water coming through here which is exactly what we need right now we're going to lose a little bit out here but it is what it is we don't mind that that's also to stop us from getting in a real bad situation of Flooded. But with the drought coming in, this should hold enough water to keep us going for a very, very long time. It would be nice to have a land grab, so I think we're looking pretty good. I think we're going to convert most of this. We're going to start turning into farmland. The farmland will be better for us than trees right now. We, we're doing well with forest stuff anyway. So even with all the wind power that we currently have, we still don't have enough power that pump when that pump's available so we are we are going to need more power and we are going to need probably to do it with wind and then luckily i can't fit any in there drat i was hoping we could that'd have been nice that'd have been real nice so we'll try and get this right so that we don't actually get any beavers stuck anywhere what we could do actually is if we go in here maybe will that work will that work no that won't work up there we're just gonna have to do this then we'll remove this one completely so we're going to go for the old up and over. It'd be nice to put that on a 90, it really would. So we're somewhere like this. Bosh! 
So then in theory, we're going to have quite a bit of wind power coming here. Now, I don't know how much there will actually be or how it will work. Because at the minute, there is no wind. Nothing is blowing, which is disappointing. But hopefully it should help supplement what we've got going on. We're getting onto it, just getting building, and all will be well. And the plan, of course, we're changing this out to have a three-way. So that we could then have a great big old windmill up here to plug into that so make that priority Ooh, we've got both and then make that that sort of priority and then make that priority how is everybody looking are these storing food they are storing food in the farmhouse so they could do more storage so if i could put a set of stairs up here storage do that make that a priority ah! we don't have a lot of food at all out here jeepers Right, let's cut to the chase. Let's get a farmhouse going and let us get planting carrots. Yeah, I get it. Half of these are going to die because like half the water doesn't stay around the island. Maybe we can make that happen with our explosives now. But in the interest of trying to keep stuff alive, let's kind of blow a little bit of a trench around the island to stop that sort of thing from happening. How are we looking for explosives? You are now out of explosives. That'll be why you're not taking any. Get over here. Let's build some storage for these boys. There we go. Then we can shift all of this stuff into storage. We can keep getting distributions. Because we need these explosives. Without these explosives, we're going nowhere fast. So this is our water pump. And it is working. Maybe a little bit too well by the looks of it. Although it's only 23% efficient. But hopefully it'll do exactly what we want it to do. And it'll keep this little area all filled up with water without me needing to worry. That is what it looks like. It's it's massive. I'm not entirely sure how much water it moves either could do with another paper factory paper is what we are short of paper is getting eaten up by everything it is everywhere mainly in the explosive factory they need three these pine planks we've got a load of them now what have we got oh we don't we've got one of them fair enough i thought i had a lot be nice to squeeze another paper mill in but this place is getting jam-packed but once we finish building all of these all will be well gears we've got 13 gears where are those 13 gears They're over here let's transport our gears back across gears okay there we go so that'll get rid of those 13 gears over there okay so we're getting dangerously close to high water levels now which isn't really what we wanted makes me think this isn't quite working so i need i need a little like soak away so in the risk of destroying everything that i've ever done yep there we go that's exactly what we wanted to do right and i need this to be high priority like super now which is good oh there's so many planks here that's helpful oh wow they nearly got it done i just need a one builder to finish it off and job will be a good there we go nope ah oh, there we go boom, 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 boom. bang so that is hopefully then going to control this a little bit so the more that this little pool fills up it'll flood into this pool which will then when it gets too high flood out of here so we don't need the gate anymore the water pump is quite efficient though Give it that. I know it's potentially going to be a huge waste of water, but it's not like I can leak it the other way. Oh, could I leak it this way, though? Had a brainwave. Instead of leaking all of this out of this way, just throw this water into the bin. We'll bring it out this way and leak it out of this way. So it kind of stays around here, around this little island. And then this little bit of water will mount up here and it will push it this way around instead, which means we'll keep more water within our little island that we need. It'll keep our carrots green, our trees green. It'll keep everything exactly where we need it to be we just gotta crack on get all this stuff built it's the only way i could see to control it even though it is on a really gigantic massively expensive pump the power is working really well on the wind this is not run by water at all this is all run off the wind and we're looking good we've got enough power to do what we want to do we're laughing how's our explosives looking our explosives so these guys could be priority now how we're looking down here Ooh. oh this is gonna be good Right, this guy, he could go. We don't need that anymore. We've rinsed through that. We can do another paper mill. Paper is something that we are really short of, especially if we're doing all these explosives. So get that up and running. Tell you what we could shut down. Shut down the lumber mill for planks right now. Do both of them at the minute. They'll come back. But we're not reading them right this moment. There we go. We're cooking now. A bit of paper. So we should start pumping out explosives, which will then be put everywhere else. So, hopefully, we can blow this set of explosives up around here. And it'll dig us a little trench that we hope to be able to fill with water. So that hopefully we can keep land nice and green. So if I put a structure in here, do that. So then what I would like to do is remove a him, and then we're going to blow that up as well. 
And now this is finished over here as well. I'm thinking, take this out. And now I need this to be major high priority. So there's all the water going in the trench. And that water in that trench should then help keep this island green. So we're also going to delete that, which could be a mistake. And we're going to levy it just as the drought has ended. And again, we need this to be priority so that we don't flood those crops, which potentially we will do. But whilst this is blowing out here, it could be okay. These explosives are as good as we're going to get with this set. So, pull the trigger. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is nice. So what we're hoping for there is we're relying on a little bit of extra depth to the water, which gives us more water that we can hold in here. Nice. Hey, more explosives. Nice. So it just gives us a little bit more depth in these pools. It means we can hold a little bit more water, which is perfect. The pump is working fantastically, exactly how we wanted it to, which I'm quite amazed by. I know that we didn't have enough power, really, in order to do stuff, but it seems to be holding its own. Here's probably one of my biggest explosions to date. And because it's so difficult to get explosions, this is probably going to be my last for this one. Let's go. Oh! Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. Right, so yeah, today it's been somewhat successful. We've managed to unlock and get the explosives going. We've sorted out this aqua farm so that it's not using the floodgates that I keep forgetting. And we've got ourselves a neat little pump built. We've also pretty much got on the way to finishing off this power. We're just finishing off putting all the shafts in as we go now. It's kind of linking everything up. Then we're going to be working out where we're going to be building the smelter and the foundry kind of thing to give us those metal blocks. So yeah, I appreciate it for watching, guys. You take it easy. You have a good day. Peace. Bye.